Right, folks, how are we all? Just been doing a bit of streaming. And I, I just I just had a quick look at Twitter uh, to see what was happening, because I like to have a look at what's happening. And I've just read this, right. Now, I love it when these politicians, they talk about... I've not made no notes for this. I've not done fuck all. Normally, I sit and make a few notes and bring bullet points up. But you always hear of these politicians talking about hard-working families, right? People who get up off their arses, people who go to work, people who spend time away from their family. And I'll include myself in that. Before I used to work, before what has ever happened to me has happened, right? I used to work 12-hour shifts along with a lot of other lads, yeah? And we used to do 12 hours from 6 till 6, right? And you'd do two weeks of days and two weeks of nights with different days off in the time, yeah? So some weekends I would do a Friday night from 6, no, it weren't, it was from 7, weren't it? it was from 7 till 7, that's what it were. I used to do 6, 2, 2, 10, 6, uh, 10, 6 right? Like a lot of other people, yeah? I used to work weekends, bank holidays, the whole fucking lot, Right? And there's many people out there who have exactly the same shift pattern. They work different shifts, but they work long, hard fucking hours, yeah, to provide for their families. Sometimes the families don't see the dad or they don't see their mum because they're working to make ends fucking meet because of these shit, shit politicians who think they know better, who can just go giving our fucking money away to Ukraine and all everything else, right? And it fucking winds me up. And if it doesn't fucking wind you up, then there is something seriously fucking wrong with you. Now, I've just, I've just seen this on the internet. The Tories are facing a backlash after criticising... Keir Starmer for saying he wants to make time to spend with his children after 6pm on a Friday night. Well, don't we fucking all, Keir. Don't we fucking all, yeah? Brilliant. My daughter used to come home from school. Uh, I'd be in bed because I'd have to go and work on a fucking Friday night. Yeah, all the way through the weekend. Didn't get to see her that weekend, no, because I'm doing a job, I mean, don't get me wrong, I was paid quite handsomely for that job of making plastic, yes, plastic, using oils and stuff, yeah, plastic, making plastic so you lot can charge up your phones, yeah, or have cable running through your new house, yeah, that's what I used to make, plastic, I used to make the little, on these fucking bottles, these stupid bottles that have got these connectable lids now. I said this the other day. If the world's in a state where we've got to connect a lid to a bottle, then we're fucked. We're completely fucked. But I used to make the little bit that goes inside that was uh, uh, food grade. Yeah? So that's what I used to do. I used to make this plastic. And I used to work on the weekend. But now he's saying... And this is, I don't understand this. Either. The Tories are facing a backlash... Why? I'm not a fan of the Tories. I'm not a fan of Sunak and I'm not a fan of the fucking rest of them, right? But I do not understand why they are facing a backlash because Keir Starmer wants to have fucking Friday nights off. I don't get it. I don't understand. I just don't fucking understand it. You don't clock off when you're Prime Minister. Now, people are going to... Now, you're, some of you are going to put in the comments, oh, yeah, but obviously if there's something happening, Dave, he won't do this and he won't be... Done. I don't give a fuck. I honestly don't give a fuck. I don't even know why he's saying that, right? The Conservatives claim the Labour leader comments made an interview with Virgin Radio would make him look like a... Well, he's already a part-time Prime Minister in my eyes because he's a fucking prick. He's as big a prick as the fucking prick that we've fucking pricking got pricking around in pricking Downing Street. Now, I'd rather have Larry the fucking cat running the country because he's... He, at least he is an official pussy. The other fuckers are just pussies by nature. Um, 
part-time uh, Prime Minister, if he wins the election on Thursday... Well, he's going to win the election on Thursday, isn't it, when all's said and done. Uh, Rushy Sunak telling reportors, I haven't ever... Fi I, Rushy Sunak telling reporters, I haven't finished at six ever. You didn't go and watch Sky TV, Rushy, at six o'clock? You didn't shoot off and go and watch a bit of Sky TV? You fucking prick. What, what do you want, Rushy? Do you want a fucking medal... To say that you haven't finished at six, or do you want a fucking chest to pin it on, you fucking pigeon? Why are you all even talking like this? You're Prime Minister of a country, a country that used to be once great, but you have all fucked it up. You have all fucked this country up. And you're talking of like, fuck, oh, I've never finished at six o'clock. No, I've never. No, you ain't even fucking started, have you? You never even started to finish at six o'clock. You, you prick. But despite the attack, uh, but the attack has been criticised as desperate, with many pointing out that Sakir's wife, Victoria, is Jewish and the family observed traditional Sabbath, uh, Sabbath dinners on a Friday. What is it, that Channel 4 comedy thing? When all the family get together on a Friday night, for fuck's sake, Friday night dinners with him out of bloody in between us. And the dad going, shit him, shit, shit, shit him, shit on it, shitter. Yeah? Is that what fucking Keir Starmer's like? Running around going, shit on it in his fucking vest. Uh, the observed traditional Sabbath dinners on a Friday night. I don't give a fuck. I honestly, honestly, honestly don't give a fuck. I don't care if you do a traditional have a Saturday morning shag. Have a fucking Thursday afternoon wank. I, I don't care. You don't... This is a fucking full-time job. I bet Joe Biden fucking does more hours than you, you fucking prick. You Tony Adley lookalike wannabe. Um, Sakir said, protecting time to spend... Uh, protecting time to spend with his son and daughters, 16 and 13, made more relaxed and a better decision make. Have you? Have you made a better... What? Tell me, Keir. Tell me, Keir. Does a woman have a penis? No. No, she fucking don't, does she? Uh, he told... Ver I'm just reading this out now. I've not read this before or anything. So when I react to this, this is just normal reaction. He told Virgin Radio... We've had a strategy in place and we try to keep to it, which is carved out really protecting time for the kids. So on a Friday, I've been doing this for years. I will I will not do a work related thing after six o'clock. Pretty welcome. Uh, pretty welcome. That, that what what the fuck? I'm fucking fuming. People are going to calm down, Dave. You'll have a heart attack, you fat bastard. I might do, but at least I ain't had a fucking jab. Um. Pretty well come that what may. There are a few exceptions, uh, but that's what we do. I, I honestly don't. I, I don't get it. Why even say that? Why even say that? Even now, right, with what I do, I have to go and do some paperwork, keep on top of things, yeah? It's an absolute fucking disgrace. I don't know who these politicians are. I don't know who they think. They are, that they can just waltz around while while the rest of the country, yeah, is struggling to make ends meet, struggling to fucking provide, put bills, uh, pay bills and put food on the table and keep a fucking roof over their heads. Now, like other people, I'm very fortunate, yeah, but I've still got to work at what I do. I can't just sit on my fucking arse and let it go by. I can't just say to June, mm, I'm not going to do anything today, June, because I don't really care. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm, this is my family time. Fuck off. You're prime minister of a fucking country. You don't pick and choose your, you don't have fucking zero contract hours, you fucking wanker. Uh, you deserve better than a part-time prime minister. Hold on, who said that? Uh, that said the Conservatives. Uh, Tory deputy chairman, Jonathan Gould. Let's hope Putin doesn't choose uh, 601 when he wishes to go any further. It Yeah, let's let's chuck Putin back in there again. Putin, he's going to do that. Stop fucking invading his country, getting close to him, and he might fuck off. Just look at and it, all it is. All it is now is just cheap point scoring on either side. Red, blue, anything. They're all just trying to cheap score point. Uh, and, and really, it's just logic. <sighs> 
I honestly, honestly, honestly don't understand what the fuck is going on here. Virtue, right, Grant Schnapp, Schaps, he's another fucking idiot. Uh, virtually every military intervention we've carried out has happened at night, partly to keep our servicemen and women safe. Uh, the British people will wonder what uh, will be starting. Uh, Starmer between 6pm and 9am. Uh, Angela Rayner. Yeah, that'll be it. They'll be doing taking turns. Oh, you've got to do the night shift this time, uh, Lamy. Lamy will go, fuck off, I ain't doing it. Get that ginger bird to do it. She'll be saying, I ain't fucking doing it. I've got a family of my own. They'll all be passing the fucking book. I, don't, I want a Prime Minister who's going to be there with his finger on the fucking pulse, yeah? Another fucking idiot. Another fucking twat who's going to be in charge of this fucking country. Editor of the Jewish Chronicle, Stephen Pollard, with those uh, criticising the attacks on X. Why? Why are you criticising the attacks? What's he going to do? What, what happened? If he had a case, right, if he had a case when he was defending a murderer or a rapist, because that's what he did, didn't he? He used to defend murderers and rapists and fucking terrorists, right? If he had a case and somebody phoned up at fucking 20 past six on a Friday night, right, at fucking 50 pounds, 60 pounds, 100 pounds an hour or whatever he used to charge, would he turn around and say to his wife, is his wife Victoria? I think I just said it. She's, would he say, Sorry, Victoria won't, let, Victoria won't let me take this phone call. It's Friday night and we're eating whatever we fucking eat, fish and chips. Yeah? That's what it'll be. No, if it were that fucking price, he'd be going there taking it. You lead and you rule by example, Kia. You do not sit on your fat, saggy arse while everybody else is trying to provide for this country, you fucking prick. Lead by example. You said you want change. You want change. You want change. You want people to respect you. Do your fucking job, you donut. I'm absolutely fucking... I ain't even finished reading this yet. Uh, is it Shabbat? Is that what it is? I don't know. I'm not Jewish. I'm not fucking religious either. I don't care. The former Union of Jewish Students, President Joel Ronson, Rosen, uh... At the end of each week, I pause for Shabbat. Is that what it is? I don't know. Uh, it is the sacred and... It, it. I just don't get it. When there's, when there's a war or there's something important happening, you don't... I bet I tell you what, right? ER, anybody else, go and have a look, see if he's campaigning after six o'clock on a fucking Friday. Yeah? Anything for a vote, Starmer... Go and have a look. Let's see if he's campaigning after six o'clock on uh, Friday night. Oh, he can't do, can he? Because it'll be over. Was he campaigning last Friday after six? Yeah. Was he when he was having that meeting when there was COVID and everywhere were locked down? Was he fucking doing anything then? Meeting up for a fucking jolly? Fucking does my head in. And if you're not angry, if you ain't as angry as me, then there's something fucking wrong with you. You shouldn't be fucking voting. Right. I'm gonna go and strim a garden again, ladies.